Hi everyone, it's been a while since I posted to this channel, but if you're new, my name is Mary Mays, I'm a meteorologist and uh, I like to talk about the forecast, but also sort of, you know, what's going on with weather stories. And there is a really sad one coming out of Rio in Brazil and in Rio de Janeiro, obviously the seasons are flipped. So it is, you know, beautiful fall weather here. It's pretty darn hot in the Southern hemisphere and they had a massive heat wave this week that's coincided with the Taylor Swift tour. And let me just preface this with, I love Taylor Swift. She loves her fans. What happened was not her fault, uh, but there was a really sad event that happened at the concert. The first night of the you know leg in Rio was on Friday. And unfortunately a fan passed away and she was a young woman with her life ahead of her. She was so young, 23 years old. And you know, obviously I don't know the details of her health, but typically you don't have young people kind of collapsing and passing away, which is what happened. Likely it's heat related because of that heat wave. And I just wanted to do this video to talk about how dangerous heat is and how it's something you gotta think about even if you're just kind of doing something fun, like going to a concert. So let's talk a little bit more about the conditions that were in place as the concert was happening. So the concert was on Friday and it's not even spring yet in Brazil and they are just having incredible heat. It's a ridiculous heat wave. That's not really a meteorological term, but it really is just kind of insane how hot it is, but also how humid it is. So it's the heat and humidity combined together that's the problem. Temperatures were feeling like, which the heat index is your feels like temperatures, it's the heat, it's the temp and the humidity combined. On Friday, 137 degrees Fahrenheit is what it was feeling like in Rio de Janeiro. That is just unfathomable. And then on Saturday, which the concert for Saturday that was planned for um, Saturday has been rescheduled to Monday. And that heat index IU for Saturday was even higher, 139. So imagine walking outside and that's what it feels like. That is hot. And then you combine that with the venue not allowing people to bring water in. That's a big issue. You had a lot of general admission tickets, so you had people waiting outside for long periods of time. And even when they get into the stadium, which was, uh, you know, had the ventilation closed and had all sorts of issues, even at that point, folks were not leaving to take water breaks or bathroom breaks because they didn't want to lose their place. And I don't blame them. So there was a lot of stuff going on that led to the, the passing of a young woman. And heat exhaustion and heat illness can really sneak up on you. Before you know it, you start to feel faint, you're tired, and that's likely what happened. Now we don't know all the details of why, you know, this young woman, only 23 years old, passed away, but it is such a tragedy. And basically, the heat was likely to blame and it was impacting everyone at that concert. So now we've talked about just how hot it was. Let's talk about what was going on during the concert. So from what I've heard and what I've seen online, and obviously I don't speak Portuguese or read Portuguese, so I've seen some translated articles and then of course stuff that US media has picked up on. Um, but the young woman started to faint and feel not so great around the second song uh, of the concert. And she was treated on site and then taken to a hospital where she passed from cardiac arrest. And, um, you know, that's, ind that's indicative of heat and heat illness and quite severe heat illness at that matter, for that matter. But during the concert on Friday night, Taylor Swift stopped it a few times to, you know, ha get water to people who needed it. And there's also TikToks going around as well where you can see that she is struggling with the heat. And, and that's a, you know, a woman who's in, incredible shape and even she's really suffering on stage even you can see her kind of gasping for breath and that happens when you're in these extremely hot extremely humid conditions heat stress is a big deal and it can impact you if you're young and unfortunately a 23 year old young woman has lost her life due to this and uh, you know just let's take a look at some of the heat related illnesses you can get and heat exhaustion is kind of that first step that you start to get. You can start to feel faint or dizzy, excessive sweating, you start to 
have cool, pale, clammy skin, you can get some nausea, a weak pulse, muscle cramps, and you need to move to a cooler location and start to drink water and hydrate. Now, the more severe form of heat-related illness is called heat stroke, or it's also called hyperthermia. So it's basically the opposite of hypothermia. So in this case, with heat stroke, you get headaches, you stop sweating, and if you stop sweating, that's when things are really getting dangerous. Your body temperature is rising, your skin is dry and hot, nausea, vomiting can occur, a rapid pulse at this point, and you are likely to lose consciousness. And basically, you need emergency attention from a medical professional. And, you know, sometimes that's just a medical professional on site. Sometimes you need to go to a hospital to be treated and get those fluids inside you, get you cooled down. It's very dangerous. And the amount of people who pass away every year from extreme temperatures, both extreme cold and extreme heat, it's estimated to be 5 million around the globe. That is a lot of people, and heat in particular is becoming more dangerous and becoming more common, these powerful heat waves. And this is a major issue. It's a major issue for folks who are outdoors working or even folks attending concerts. So what can we do? Well, we need to be more knowledgeable about the problem and conditions that produce this. And, you know, here in the U.S., we have excessive heat warnings and that sort of thing. But, you know, having steps to maybe cancel school, cancel recess, cancel events if it's too hot, and it's hard to cancel a concert, it's hard to, you know, delay a concert, that sort of thing. But I think that promoters and, you know, these venues and the producers of these concerts and, and you know, a lot of times a lot of this is kind of outside the hands of the artist themselves. And I really want to emphasize that because a lot of times the artist doesn't have full control of this sort of thing. A lot of times it's, you know, for some folks, it's record companies and that sort of thing. You know, obviously it's going to depend from artist to artist, but making sure that these companies have plan B's have safety precautions in effect and know when it's just too hot or too extreme or too stormy to put on an event is important and being able to take a step back and keep people's safety in mind. It's hard, it's hard to make those decisions, but it's going to be important in, when situations like this happen and they are happening quite often nowadays. So basically what I wanted to talk about with this video is just how common heat stress is on the body, how deadly it can be even if you're young, and just how important it is to monitor conditions and stay hydrated and try to seek a cool space if you can. The other thing I wanted to mention too is that heat can be a big deal for young healthy folks, but it's an even bigger deal for folks who are immunocompromised, who are sick, who are elderly, and for children who, you know, if you have anything going on, it's a lot harder to regulate your body temperature. So that's important for both heat and cold. So extreme temperatures, they are becoming more common and we have to deal with the impacts of that, including in areas like Brazil, where it was very hot, very humid, and you had a record breaking heat wave that unfortunately coincided with a huge concert. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I gave you some helpful information. It's kind of hard because at the end of the day, staying out of the heat is pretty much your only, the only thing you can do. And I know that's hard in areas without air conditioning and without, you know, that technology to keep people cool. But, you know, if you're attending a concert or anything like that in the heat, you have to pay attention to conditions, take those steps to stay hydrated. But more importantly, the folks putting on these concerts, these events, venues, and promoters and producers, they have to have attendee safety in mind. So if there are any updates to this, I am going to possibly do another video, but for right now I just wanted to, to give a, a quick overview of what happened and just how ridiculously hot it was. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.